welcome to another episode of Liberated Blue Nations. My name is Eleonora, and today we're going to be talking about the new moon in Aries, which is happening on Sunday, April 11th, with its peak time of 7.30 p.m. for Pacific Standard Time. Aries is a fire cardinal sign, which is ruled by Mars, the planet of action and war. So this new moon can be a more mentally stimulating new moon since Mars right now is in Gemini, which is a sign ruled by Mercury, the planet of intellect, the mind, communication. So this new moon can be good to plant new seeds, new ideas, thoughts, and goals that can be put into work. Starting us off, we'll have Pluto and Capricorn square Venus and Aries. So this aspect kind of brings the possibility of power and control dynamics to the surface in relationships. There can be jealousy or possessiveness as well. If this does happen, I say take a moment to identify where these emotions are coming from, what the root of these emotions are coming from, and what needs to be addressed on your end to work through these, obviously in a productive and positive manner. Next up, we do have Jupiter and Aquarius, sextile Venus and Aries. And I know most astrologers don't talk about sextiles because they are the weaker aspect of the good aspects, but I think it still brings a little joy and positivity, especially for Jupiter sextile Venus. You can indulge in your favorite activities with your favorite company. It can be your own company too, if you enjoy being alone. You can explore subjects that you're curious about, any artistic subjects, any subjects that expand your mind and your knowledge as well. The last aspect that we have is another sextile, but it's both the sun and the moon in Aries are gonna be sextiling Mars in Gemini, which is the ruler of this lunation. So again, with being less powerful than trines doesn't mean that we cannot take advantage of the energy that we're provided by these sextiles. So with both the sun and the moon sextile Mars, it kind of gives us a sense of self-confidence, vitality, courage, as well as enthusiasm and being emotionally driven to get our goals done. Next up, we are going to pull a card for this new moon. As always, this is a card that we can find grounding and support in during this time. Whoa. We have a jumper. We got the lunar eclipse. Wow. Eclipses are always heightened energy to me. I mean, this is pretty on point for a Mars ruled energy. I mean, for a Mars ruled lunation, especially with Mars being in Gemini, which is very, again, like I said, a mental a sign Mercury ruled is very much about the mind, ideas, communication. The lunar eclipse basically happens when there is a full moon. And we know full moons are times of culmination, of reveal, of enlightenment. So I feel like what this message is kind of encouraging us to dig deep and to reveal things from ourselves that we might not be aware of especially with the Pluto Venus square, if there are any unhealthy patterns coming up or unknown kind of subconscious ways that we go about things, especially with our relationships and how we relate to people, maybe it's time to shine a light on those and see what needs to be adjusted, what needs to be changed, what needs to be addressed, especially for a new moon, which is all about new beginnings. You don't want to carry those unhealthy, either emotions, patterns, situations, people, you don't want to carry that with you into the new lunar cycle. So I think this is just really asking you to expose yourself and to address the things that you really don't want, you really don't need, and to start a new basically. The service I recommend for this time is with every new moon, it's going to be readings, intuitive readings, whether that's tarot, oracle, akashic, energy readings. We have all of those at the shop. Um, great way to get clear on any intentions that you want. It's just a good way to get clarity basically. So readings is what I recommend. For events this week, we do have a new event for the new moon in Aries specifically. It's going to be a Kundalini activation process session with Kimberly Eddy, and that's on the day of the new moon, which is Sunday, April 11th, and it's at 6 p.m. 
It's $40 for this event. Um, like all of our other events, this one will not have a replay because it's more of a intimate session. So if you want to attend, you have to do it live. Again, you can purchase tickets in our website, liberateyourself.com. And if you're curious to know what the month of April has in store for you, you can check out our horoscopes written by yours truly up on our website as well. All right, you guys, that is it for this new moon in Aries. I hope that everybody is safe and sound and healthy and happy. If you need anything, you can always DM us, email us, or call us at the shop with any of your needs. I am sending everybody much, much love, many, many blessings, and have a very, very happy new moon. Readings uh, shared time and space with someone who is spiritually connected. An opportunity to get clarity and reassurance, um, guidance on any area of your life that you may feel stuck or not in flow with. So readings are basically um, extremely helpful for you to make decisions that needed to be made. For having clarity on life's questions, healing, um, empowerment to move someone from fear to being empowered. When you're feeling stuck, when you can't answer the question yourself, when you find yourself in a little bit of a spin out. I don't think there's anything that a reading is not good for. You know, the perfect time for a reading can be any time. We are constantly changing, so we are constantly coming up against obstacles or reoccurring patterns that we need to check in with. When things just feel really heavy and dark and you might be a little confused about some of the things on your, on your path, maybe certain relationships or opportunities. So we all have blind spots. So when you find yourself in a blind spot, that's a really good time to get a reading. So readings are good to check in to find out where your progress is through the eyes of someone else who's holding you in the highest good for all concerned. Change is always good ultimately, and sometimes it's hard to see that, and readings bring you back to that center of what it's for for you.